my god so this is the first night at the big red bash and you can hear the rain on the top thank god i've got the walls set up there's a wall there's my little kitchen i'm feeling quite cozy actually so i've got the wall set up on that side and then i've got the wall set up on this side but at these babies these are like we walk <laughs> this is what happens to this mud it just becomes well it's dust and then it, i don't know what the hell it is but it's like the bog people but here's the nice news like look at the floor everything is wet it's just so damp and really miserable oh my god but this is the joys of being in a caravan it's so clean and just perfect and so welcoming and i'll be in there in seconds good night <laughs> solo traveling you know despite whatever situations have happened to them in their life they're taking hold of their life and doing it anyway come with me on my journey Monday morning at the bash man the mud that's here is colossal I just have to share with you it's just such an ordeal even just to do something simple like go outside go to the toilet so these are my boots and I've already like taken half the mud off them they weigh a ton they're my I've taken my cowboy boots off and now my big job now that I've got my boots on which weigh about five kilos is to get my Starlink onto the back of my ute so I can actually do a bit of work today because there's nothing else we can do. They've advised us to actually um, stay in our little campsites, which is cool because I've got the cutest little campsite here all set up. I've got a couple of walls on, which is, didn't make keep my seats wet, but it did keep me protected. It's nice and snug in my van. But it is, people, the adventure of camping. <laughs> and this is luxury camping. Like um, my mate, Simon, who's a videographer, he just bought a tent and it, he's not doing as great. Rolling. G'day, I'm Simon. I am the uh, the cameraman on this uh, adventure, a massive adventure <laughs> driven from Sydney, and here we are in Birdsville. I think six or seven days later, I'm going to show you around my uh, lovely establishment and how <laughs> a cameraman lives on tour. I think uh, this is um, oh salubrious accommodation. This is salubrious. <laughs> this is my com. Um, you're more than welcome to poke your camera in there. Yeah, yeah. This is close as I want to get. I thought we had three mil of rain, but they said uh, eight mil. Yeah. And uh, look, I was okay. A um, little bit wet. I woke up with a sore throat. <laughs> now let me show you my um, my kitchen. Beautiful. And here is my kitchen. I've just made brekkie. Oh. And but this is <coughs> this is how I live. What was that song? Living out of the back of the car. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, That's before my time. Living out of the back of the car. So it's really a basic affair. I have. So um, we've shot some fabulous footage, some great interviews, and uh, this is Birdsville. No, it's, uh, in its splendour. In its splendour, it's very muddy. <laughs> I'll just show you my shoes. I'm sure Mel and the show have hers, but yeah. um, let's do a shoe off. There's a shoe off. <laughs> when you're on tour, there's two things that you have to do every day when you can't shower: change your socks and undies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what you doing there, Mel? <laughs> well. Uh, the time has come, I need to do some work because we're supposed to be in our campsites all day today. So I might as well utilise this opportunity and get some shit done, which is great. So I have my trusty styling. I think I'm going to put it in the back of the U. So I'm just, the, the theory is I'm going to put it in here. But even just stepping on this is like... Yeah, I reckon it's a good idea. <laughs> Plug it in. The right. campsite looks rather homely. You think so? I do. Are you a bit jealous after we just videoed your little humble abode? Uh, right now, I'm extremely jealous. <laughs> this is my system. So, because I'm a chick, and I know some guys are a bit anal, but like chicks are really like you know particular about their feet. I take my shoes off out here because I'm not walking that shit in there, and then I go from here like a princess into my thongs. Ta -da. That's five kilos and I'm not even exaggerating. Easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. As soon as it, uh, the wind gets on them, that'll all just fall off. I know. I love your positivity. I've only met one other person more positive than me and it's you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me why you're chopping the wood. 
because there's something special happening yep. today. We're doing a big cook up. So I've got 40 kilos of pork. Yeah. I think um, Wayne from MDC's got about the same in beef brisket. Oh my god. So he's doing that in the smoker. Yeah. He's cheating. <laughs> I'm doing it, doing it on this fire over here with oh. the camp ovens. The old trusty lid lifter. So yeah, that steam is what actually cooks your food in a camp oven. So yeah, she's looking really, really good. Tasty. I've come in really late. What did? What am I about to eat? Uh, pulled pork and coleslaw. That's so beautiful. Camp oven pulled pork. I know, Rolly's I know. It's been, camp oven we watched it on on the fire. How many hours did it go in there, Rolly? Uh, it's about four and a half. Five, I'm looking at your hat as you talk. <laughs> about four and a half, five hours, I think. Yeah, yeah. Up, That's yeah. amazing. I don't even eat pork, but I know I'm going to love it. Yum. Okay, so this is the dirty side of the video. <laughs> that a lot of people are wondering and a lot of people don't talk about it well they do but it's how do you go to the toilet when you are in this big paddock basically i mean it's day it's the official day that it opens uh big red bash it's tuesday and like this is the scenario but it's still dewy and wet from the night before it was much um wetter obviously yesterday so we can get around it's not too bad but this is how and we you go to the toilet there are heaps of these toilet blocks and they are actually pretty fantastic they're a drop toilet when you go in there you do your number ones there's always paper in there they're manned by amazing volunteers who keep them really clean and spotless you climb up the stairs you do your business it falls into a bin underneath it you close dip, put down the lid you're done if you need to do your number twos you actually have some sawdust which you take in with a cup which I always find pretty weird that people know what you're doing in there <laughs> by what you take into the toilets with you but you just kind of have to get past all that and look it's all very efficient it's very it's as clean as possible and it, like, we're in the middle of a the desert there's no running flushing water and if this is a deal breaker for you then don't come um, people have a lot of their own toilets in their vans and deal with that all of that afterwards I don't have that I have to rely on these toilets and I'm very grateful for these toilets because I've camped lots of places without toilets and you have to get very inventive then and then you've also got some recycling you've got the plastic bottles and the aluminium cans good morning girls <laughs> this is my toilet talk <laughs> oh my god some lovely gorgeous women from the MDC camp you've got your plastic bottles you are my soul your love is its own reward My heart, I have found Gets caught surely by the town Now you're flying, I never find the place I can't stay You'll be flying I'd rather be a 